This is one of the most missed questions on my Algebra 2 test, and I want to just go over it so you guys never get this wrong again. We got an equation with the square root, and to cancel out a square root, the first step is just to square both sides just like this. That's going to cancel out my square root on the left, and I'll be left with x minus 15. On the right side, I'm going to have to multiply this binomial to itself because it's squared, so sometimes I just write it on the side like this, just to save myself a little time. 3 times 3 gets me 9. The middle term is going to be 3 times negative square root of x and negative square root of x times 3, which yields negative 6 root x and negative square root of x times negative square root of x. Two negatives multiplied to each other gets me a positive and the square roots are going to cancel out so I'm just left with an x. Now let's get x by itself. The next thing I'm going to do is subtract a 9 and I might as well subtract an x at the same time just to go a little faster. These x's are going to cancel out. I'm left with negative 24 on the left side. These cancel out negative 6 root x and these cancel out. Next step, get rid of that negative 6 by dividing by negative 6. I'm left with 4 equals the square root of x and to get rid of a square root, once again, square both sides and we get 16 equals x. Done. That is my final answer and if that is your answer, then thank goodness you are watching this video because that is wrong. Anytime you got a square root equation, you always want to check if your answer is correct. Sometimes we get overconfident and we just come up with an answer and we move on. But check your answer, check your answer. And here's why it's wrong. The original equation was the square root of x minus 15 equals 3 minus the square root of x. If I plug in my answer, which is 16, into the equation, 16 minus 15 equals 1, square root of 1 equals 1, 3, and the square root of 16 is 4. 3 minus 4 is negative 1 equals 1. And wait a minute. That is false right here. That is wrong. And ladies and gentlemen, they call that an extraneous solution. There is no solution for this equation. It was a trick problem. Seeing is believing. So let's graph it on Desmos. And as you can see, these two equations never intersect. Therefore, there is no solution. I hope you learned something today and I hope you never get this question wrong. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.